Okay, so I've had some questions about what is have value layer and how does it work? Um, so I wanna just show you some experiments that we do um, as a physics test to uh, demonstrate half value layer, which is largely the best way to measure the penetrability or the quality of the x-ray beam. But before we can get into that, first we need to talk a little bit about the x-ray tube and filtration. So um, we need to understand that there is an inherent filtration in the x-ray tube. So uh, I've got a, a cutaway model of an x-ray tube here. Um, so in the construction of this x-ray tube, there's filtering elements like this uh, glass tube enclosure, the beryllium window that it exits. There's even some things that are just built into the x-ray tube that attenuate x-rays, and so we'll call those inherent filtration. When the physics department comes in, they add filtration. A lot of times in this general area right in here, the top of the collimator, um, there's a way to add filtration, okay? So both of those combined make for a total filtration of the x-ray system, which for this unit, since it's capable of operating at energies above um, 70 keV, is uh, 2.5 millimeters of aluminum equivalent, right? So right here, I've got a bunch of different aluminum filters. And so to measure a half value layer, to measure the overall um, penetrability of the x-ray beam, what we're going to use is an ion chamber here, um, and it's just going to measure the exposure in this exposure field, right? But then we're going to start applying filters, right? So you can see I've got filters of different thicknesses, one millimeter, two millimeter, five millimeter. We're mostly going to focus on these, uh, uh, I should say that's a 0 0.1 millimeter. These are actually one millimeter down here. We're going to apply these different filters to the x-ray tube, and we're going to see what amount of filtration results in us having half the amount of exposure. So to start the, uh, the game rolling, we'll go into the lab and we'll make an exposure. Now the technique that I'm going to use is just uh, um, 25 mass at 80 kVp. It'll be the same technique every single time. Let's go out there and see what we got. Right? So over here, I've got an exposure amount measured in milligray. Right? a 1.491 milligray. So let's write that down over here. So with that initial um, exposure, no filtration, we had 1.491. So 1.491 milligray, right? But what we're interested in is actually half that amount because we are interested in a half value layer. So we'll, we'll plug that into our calculator. And I, I can't think of what it is off the top of my head, but 1.491 uh, divided by 2. So our half value layer is going to result in an intensity of 0 0.45 5, and there's a significant figure there, so I'll just erase that and 46 milligray right so when we get to the half value layer when we add enough aluminum to it if we add uh, one millimeter of aluminum two millimeters three millimeters four millimeters etc whatever amount that of aluminum uh, equivalent that we need to add filtration wise that results in that measurement of exposure we will have arrived at the half value layer for uh, this x-ray tube operating at this energy level. So let's go ahead and add some aluminum. This is gonna be a little awkward, but we can do this. So I'm gonna place uh, the, the camera up underneath the, uh, the tube so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna add a little tray. This is a millimeter of aluminum. And we would expect now the exposure to do what? we add a little bit of aluminum, we would expect now the exposure to decrease. So over here we would expect the line to go down. Let's see what happens. Okay. So looking here at our ion chamber, we got 1.17 milligray. 1.17 milligray. So we had a uh, millimeter of aluminum, 1.17, right about here, let's say. So we draw a little line down. I mean, I've drawn that perfectly, but 1.17 milligray. So uh, the, uh, the experiment so far 
has proven right. Um, it decreased a little bit. Um, so let's uh, let's let's go ahead and add some more aluminum because we're again we're trying to get to that number there, something in that range. Then we'll know we're at the half value layer. So I'm going to just grab one of these uh, millimeters uh, here, slide it in, and we'll make another exposure. Now this might seem like about as interesting as watching paint dry, um, but you'll see here where this starts to get interesting. Let's see what we got now. That was two millimeters now. Okay, now this machine, it changed the units to microgray. So we need to convert that to milligray. So it's 0 0.944 microgray. I'm sorry, 0 0.944 milligray. 0 0.944 milligray. So we'll go right about here. 0 Where's my marker? Nine four four milligray. So again, it went down. Now here's where the question gets kind of interesting, right? There's actually two parts of this that I find kind of intriguing. The first is, so we know that the exposure is going down. The exposure is going down. The amount of ionizations occurring inside of the ionization chamber has decreased with each added amount of aluminum filtration. But what has happened to the average KV, KEV, right? So I'm gonna draw two different charts up here. The first, so we set 80 KVP, 80 KVP, and without any filtration we got uh, a, a range of energies that looks something like that. And that's, that's related to Bremster lung. And this is the overall number of X-ray photons. And this is the various energies from anywhere from just above one to 80 um, keV. You can see that a third, um, the, the peak, the average energy here is about a third of 80 um, kVp. So, and most of the energy is about a third. Now, when we started adding filters, what happened to the penetrability of this uh, beam that's incident on the ion chamber? Well, something interesting happened. We have a decrease in number, but it shifted the average energy closer to 80, right? So you can see we have a decrease in the number of X-ray photons, right? But an increase in the average energy of the x-ray beam that's incident on the ionization chamber, right? So uh, let's go ahead and add another uh, millimeter of aluminum filtration and see what happens. Will we get to the half value layer? So again, I'm not changing anything about uh, my setup except for the amount of filtration and now we've got 777 seven, seven. so 0.777 seven, seven. 0.777 now what's interesting if we start to look at this line right and so we're getting very close we're very close to our half value layer right but it looks like the line is starting to flatten off, right? So there's an interesting point here uh, that we need to uh, we need to indicate, and, and, and if we can see that the numbers are falling off as I add more uh, filtration, the numbers are falling off, but they're not falling off as rapidly as they did initially. Um, so there's a safety consideration here, in addition to this measure of penetrability, and this is this is a test that the physics department does annually or every 13 months. But this curve will ultimately start to look like this curve, a half-life curve, right? Where we use this in nuclear medicine where we've got an amount of radioactivity over a certain amount of time. And we see there's an initial um, exponential fall off, but then it's not falling off, it starts to flatten out. And in fact, these lines will never cross, right? So what we're saying is a significant safety consideration, and it holds true for x-ray as well, that we could add, we can continue adding filtration to the x-ray beam, but this number, it'll get very, very close to zero. It will never actually be zero. In theory, 
we could aim this x-ray tube at the earth and some of those x-rays in theory will pass through the earth out the other side of the earth off into outer space they could in theory then pass through the sun and continue on into outer space there is uh, no amount of filtration that will ever stop all of the x-ray beams in in theory um, so there's a safety consideration where do we draw the line with shielding so in this room we've got shielding that was uh, built into the walls and they had to set a limit to the amount of shielding well we can see that we're really close to the half value layer so I'm gonna pick a number less than uh, one millimeter I've got a 0.2 so we're gonna do 3.2 we're gonna um, just do one more exposure here okay let's see what we got on our ionization chamber oh right, we got point 748 0.749 somewhere in there so we have just arrived at our half value layer for this machine it's uh, about 3.2 millimeters of aluminum and now none of my uh, my markers will work but we that did put us right at the uh, the amount of exposure that we would associate with a half value layer operating at this energy level